since this wig has the fake scalp as they call it they have the cap already inside of the wig and due to that I won't be plucking so much because I don't want this cap to be noticeable. This is my first time actually, you can kind of see it right there. This is my first time actually using one of these type of wigs. So I'm not really sure. And I didn't really get time to play around with it. So I'm just not going to pluck as much. And due to the hairstyle that I'm doing, I don't really need to pluck much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to part out right where that cap begins and I'm going to pretty much leave that hair behind not touched and due to the fact that this wig came bleached already I don't have to do any bleaching which I believe it would be pretty hard due to the fact that there is the cap there but I love that it's already bleached and really ready for me to go honestly I could have put it on without much plucking but with me, I really like to pluck my wigs. So, of course, I'm going to go in and do a little bit of light customizing. And instead of me parting out how I usually do, I'm just going to take a few strands from the front so that we really remove this line of demarcation. And we just make it look a bit more natural. I really just be focusing on plucking the sides. I don't really want to go too much in the middle. Just these sides and I'm just, like I said, just going right from the front and just thinning this out so I can remove that line of demarcation that's there. Now, because this cap isn't my exact skin tone and you guys really couldn't see the cap through the lace on the mannequin head because literally they're like the same shade but this is going to be a bit more noticeable on my head so I'm just going to go in with some of my true match lace conceal in the shade tan and I'm just going to spray that on a dense makeup brush get it nice and saturated and I'm just going to really rub that in to this cap uh, hi you guys from me and my green eyes i am so in love with these contacts they came from Solotica, Solotica, whatever you want to call it these are the color amber and i'm so happy because growing up i never got to wear colored contacts because i used to wear prescription glasses and then prescription contacts and my eye doctor always would tell me like you can't get them and for some reason i don't know why but this most recent time I went to my eye doctor and I asked them about color contacts and they said I definitely can get them. So I went and ordered these and I'm so in love. Now let's really jump into the video and the reason you guys are all here. So before I start, I did cut my wigs here in here so I can get a bit more room. You guys know I have the biggest forehead ever. I already prepped my skin off camera. I'm just cutting off the back lace back here I already prepped my skin off camera and I wiped off my forehead with my 99% alcohol and I also went in with my bold hold skin protect just to make sure I'm having that skin protected and it's gonna help with my install with the antiperspirant that it has in it and also it's going to just make my install feel a bit more secure and last a bit longer in my opinion so if you don't have that you definitely should go and get it so first things first I'm just gonna put my wig on my head and see where everything lays 
And now, as I've said in previous videos, I'm pretty good with eyeing where I need to lay down my lace. So I see where my glue is gonna go. I will be using my Bold Hold Dirty Bold Hold Glider today. I love the gliders because they really help me get a nice, even, and smooth application. These gliders come with the Bold Hold Active Glue in it. However, you can order the gliders empty and you can put in the Active or the Extreme Cream, whichever you prefer for yourself or your clients, but you definitely need to get one of these gliders. So I'm just gonna go in and drop a little dot right in the middle of my head. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag that all the way down. And as you notice, literally one dot is coming all the way down here. So less is definitely more when using this product. Now that should dry um pretty quickly, but before I do anything, I really need to go and check my thermostat because as you guys know, the last time it was 84 freaking degrees in my house and you don't want to work in a hot environment when lying down this glue because any sweater, anything like that is gonna cause this glue not to melt and stay. So let me go run and check my thermostat and hopefully turn on my ceiling fan and I'll be right back. I'm back, see that wasn't so long. Did you guys miss me? Okay, now onto this next layer. <laughs> We're gonna be going in with some tape on top of that glue. I usually use the bold hole tape, but I can't find mine anywhere, and I'm packing, so I don't really wanna unpack to try to find the tape. So I just got some little tape strips from my local beauty supply store. And once this is all clear, which is almost actually, <laughs> I'm gonna put this directly on top of my glue and go in with just a little more glue on top of the tape so I can have a very secure hold. Although, I really shouldn't be putting this much glue because I'm gonna probably take this wig off tomorrow. I actually am gonna be taking it off tomorrow because I'll be doing a red pony. But, for you guys, when you guys wanna wear like a temporary wear or like a one day wear, you can use one layer or you can use the new Bold Hold Jelly and Lace Spray that's coming out very soon. I got to test it out at BeautyCon and I really loved working with it. I love using the gel for baby hairs as well and I just love that it gives you a nice hold and it isn't alcohol based so it doesn't really dry out your hair like some other brands may do. So, Clear? Are we clear? Yes, we are. Now I'm gonna go in with my tape right on top of that glue. Um, when you do this at home, try not to get it on your edges. It usually doesn't get on my edges because I usually have on a cap, but I really don't care about my edges, honestly. Like, I don't need them. I don't wear my real hair. Honestly, I can shave my hair bald. No one would know. Because I wear wigs so much. But don't, at home, put the tape on your hair. It can be hard to get out. I've got it in my hair before and gotten it out. But I wouldn't want to recommend you do it. I don't want anybody saying, Lace Assassin told me I could put tape in my hair. And you pull your edges out. Not on my and we're gonna go ahead and peel off the white part and the tape is still there. Same for this side. Go ahead and lay this lace down. Not like that. First of all, look how short this wig is. It's perfect for the look that I want to do, but this is like a short wig. And we're just gonna lay that lace down directly into the glue. Thank you. 
And as you guys can already see, this lace is darker than me, but you know that's not a problem. If you went ahead and watched this video right here, or right here, or right here, or wherever you two want to put it, you'll know I can work with dark lace. Oh. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my feeling my with some hood girls looking back at it. These are my Gigi Hadid eyes. Or are they giving you like Tyra Banks smile? I still don't know how to smile. It's fine though. I don't want to be on top. Take that comb and just make sure everything is down into that lace. Look at this fan. No. Make sure everything is down into the glue with the comb. And I'll be back with my scissors ready to cut. I just went ahead off camera and tied it down with this little bold hold scarf for about five minutes or so. Just to make sure everything was good and now I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Sorry, I had just noticed at the top of my camera that I was running out of space. So I had to go delete some old videos that were on my SD card. And now we're going to get in focus first and cut off this excess lace. Not too bad. We still have some extra lace right there. Cut that off. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the other side off camera just so I can get a little bit closer to my mirror because I have a different setup today than I usually do because like I said I am moving but um, I just want to go closer to my mirror and cut this off camera. BRB. So I'm back and I just went ahead and tied my lace down again because I'm in a bit of a rush. I'm heading out to the mall so... For this style, I'm just doing something simple. I'm just gonna do like a wet, slick back moment. And I'm gonna be going in first with my Nairobi styling foam. And I'll just be putting that all over the top of my head. Everywhere, literally. Just to kind of get a feel of how I want my hair to lay. I want something really messy and uniform. Oh, and I also pulled out my baby hairs. And for those, I'm just gonna be doing some really soft, light baby hairs. I won't be doing like too much. I'm really gonna thin them out actually, cause I don't want a lot of baby hairs with this look. I really didn't want any, but because this lace is darker than my skin tone, I had to go in with some baby hairs to kind of help camouflage that line of demarcation. Sorry about that brief disruption. So like I said, I want some really soft baby hairs, so I'm gonna go in and pluck some of these out. I'm just gonna spray like this area on both sides so I can get it to stay flat right there. I don't really want it coming in my face too much. And then I'll use my clips to hold that in place while it actually dries. 
Now repeat the same thing on this side. So this is this side all finished. I just went ahead and did it off camera because I wasn't sure how I actually wanted to do like my baby hairs and everything. Let me know if you guys like it down below and I'm going to show you guys on this side how I got this look. So for this part it's really simple. I just went in and cut my baby hairs and took some big sexy hair hairspray. Sprayed it on my edge control brush and you just see me swooping everything out and then back just to have a nice really full swoop but because I did pluck it beforehand it still looks really wispy and natural and you'll see me go in and do the same thing on my sideburn pieces I just went in and cut them with my eyebrow razor and then swoop them out and back for this simple look so now I'm going to tie my hair down with my bold hold silk scarf again i'm just going to do a little bit of light makeup off camera before i go and i'll be back to you guys with my final look so this wig is from my crowned wigs they sent me a little short bob unit with the fake scalp illusion it came inside of this box and inside of the box was like this little paper cotton bag with the wig in it it came with a wig cap uh some clips and a few other tools i don't remember i got this wig a while ago um i've been trying to do all of the wigs that were sent to me in a timely matter so i'm just going down the line and the way that i got them so this one is really nice it is just a short natural black bob unit with the fake scalp illusion like i said it is a lovely wig for anybody who wants something really simple and really easy to go i could have easily parted this down the middle and did like a nice blunt cut and probably got away with it like that or maybe even did like a side part with some type of curls that you guys see when I first put it in. It looked nice that way as well with like a little messy kind of bed hair look. I really loved it. I would definitely not mind working with this company again. And if you guys have any companies that you guys want to see me work with specifically, definitely leave that down in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and follow me on instagram at lace assassin i'll put it down here and i'll have all the information on this hair from my crown wigs in the description box below thank you